Hello and welcome to another video in the series that I'm making about these Bosch faulty batteries. There was eight to start with that were faulty, now there's only four thankfully because I've recovered some of them through various means you'll see in previous videos. But today we're going to concentrate on cell replacement. Yes, of the eight that we started with that were faulty, um, we've got narrowed down to these four with others fixed. These all need cell replacement. Um, there's an 8 amp, a 6 amp and two of these 4 amp. The two 4 amps will be less complicated because we will have some cells to suit lying around somewhere in the salvage battery box or somewhere. But uh, these are slightly more complex. This would need uh, two of Samsung 18650 30Qs and this will need uh, two of 21740T Samsungs so they might be harder to come by so we'll have to start something simpler with these I hope I hope this needs two and this needs four so we need to get something with six good cells in it some old battery or something so as Lady Luck would have it I've got this Metabo faulty battery um, I think it's a, it's a 4 amp but I think I can actually salvage enough cells from this to fix the other two. One of these 4 amps needs 2 cells and another needs 4 so I need 6 viable cells to replace into the packs. So if I do a voltage check to show you that's 10.5. At that kind of voltage with a 10 cell pack this has got at least at least six viable cells in it due to the voltage so I've got to get this open test the cells remove the good ones and hopefully replace and take at least one of these today I don't know how long I'm going to make the video it depends how how it goes I know if I make these videos too long some people don't want to sit and watch a two hour video but we'll see what we can do just open this metabo to see what we've got Right, I just need to test these cells in this metabo to see what they're what they're like. To bring back that old insulation there. That's always a pain. Always a chore, never a pleasure. But anyway. That'll give us access to the cells to see what we have. Let's see. Bank 1 is 3.59 good voltage. There's a bad one there. Um, bank 2 good voltage. Or bank 3 should I say. That's a good voltage as well. So, um, but this one will definitely be bad in the far end due to the process of elimination. Because you can see the voltages that are about 3.59. So, 3.59 multiplied by 3 is adding up to about 10.5 volts, which is that was. So, I'll mark the ones that are bad because um, give me an idea what ones to pull out there, the bad ones there. So, I need these three banks here. Always put an X in the bad ones, just to give me an idea where I'm at. But these are my table. You can't just <coughs> like some batteries, unhook the the nickel strip and slide it out. These don't slide out. The whole battery has to come apart. The whole this housing has to come apart. You know, which is is a pain. But anyway. Is what we're doing. That took longer than expected. Um, that's the battery tore down. I had to take it all apart. There's six good ones, good cells, and four bad ones as predicted. Um, yeah, we'll just have to put these in the recycle bin. So what we have here is enough to fix these two batteries. However, 
Um, if I check the voltage of these two batteries, I'm going to figure out which one I'm going to do first. Um, I might have to do the second one in a different video for reasons I'll explain right now. This one's showing about 10.8 volts and that's got four cells away. And that makes me think that the voltage of the cells in here are very close to the cells here. Um, this one on the other hand, this is two cells away. Put this probe's around the right way. Yep. Anyway. And that's sitting at 16.4. Which means that the four banks of cells that are good, these these one, two, three, four, they're sitting at four four volts, which is half a volt higher than these, which means I would have to charge two of these to make them suitable, charge them fully to make them suitable to go on here. So we're gonna have to keep two of them aside along with that battery. And we'll probably have to tackle this one first because the banks of cells will be closer to these. But we'll, we'll find, find that out. I can't even remember from the last video what these were. But I'll get this open and we'll do a voltage check. These are all sitting at 3.54, 3.59, something like that. These were off before, but they're still tight to get off. Right. There we are. We've done volt checks in this before in a previous video, but we'll just do one anyway for the sake of this video as well. For the sake of you, the viewer, if you only if you've only tuned in on this video, much as I'd like you to watch the rest, we'll do this as a we'll do them as standalone so they stand up on their own. Three point eight, aye, three point seven. So even even with the voltage being closer. Um, these still have to be charged a bit. These have to come up to 3.8 before we can put them on. I was hoping they not have to charge them because it takes longer and it means that definitely we'll only get one battery repair filled in this video. But the good thing about all that is I get to show you this BC8 Plus XTAR charger that charges these up. So I put these on these. This is for charging lithium cells. Um, I haven't shown this in any of the previous videos. So every video I've done up until now. Let's see if I get that to. Yeah, that's it now. Um, every, every video I've previously done here. Let's see, I need to clean the edge of that. That edge is sort of rough. I'll clean that up and I might get a better connection. Charge. Everybody who previously done has shown other pieces of equipment and other techniques to recover a battery, so this is this is good that this actually happened. There we are now. Connecting now, uh, it could have been just a bit of dirt or rust or something that was stopping it connecting. But once these get up to about 3.9, get in, I'm hoping they'll be up at 3.8 and we can, we can slap them in here. I will try and remember to put this X Star charger a link if you want to buy this. There's also a smaller one if you're not in as on the scale that I am, there's the VC4 plus, that's a 4 and I would recommend that to you if you're in a smaller way I'd want to charge these 4 but I like the VC8 it charges more cells quicker as well Hey when I'm at it, I think I might just fully charge I'll take a chance and fully charge these other two as well because they have to go into the other one the other one with the 4 good banks I know for a fact that if they're fully charged they'll fix it so we'll do that We'll do that as well. We'll put them on. So I, I'm able to charge six up to eight in this VC8, you know. 
when they're doing their thing I might try and yeah remove these cells that are the offending cells so to speak now they're not even connected look at that that's bad spot welding from Bosch I hopefully will do better than that again another bit of bad spot welding there that lifted that's bad that is bad they're going to be a job to get out to That should allow us to get them out. I wouldn't even test them. There's no point. They're just they're just for the recycling bin. We just have to wait for the new cells to charge or the reclaimed cells. You want to be more accurate. Right, I've taken these four off. I'm leaving these two on for the for the other battery. Um. I'll just show you the voltage of these just to give you an idea where we're at with them. Yep. Um, 3 point, what is he? I get this into shot. Three point seven six more or less, three point let's see. Three point seven eight, that's pretty good. Three point seven seven near enough. Three point eight one. So they're pretty much where they need to be, roughly in and around the ballpark where we need them to be. What we gotta do now is clean them up a little bit and get them put into the pack and spot weld it in. These ends wouldn't be too bad, but it's just the uh, the plus end. There we are. Might be able to work with that. Use these little ring insulators, they're a good job. So here we are. Try and put these in. As even as we can. Tight. That's okay. Better. So 
So the last one now, and that strip, I don't know if we can weld that strip. I might cut it off and tack it onto the top bit or something, that's what I'll do. I'll cut a bit off that strip. <clears throat> I'll cut it off about here, I think. See that's rusty there. That's why it's not getting the connection. We'll see. Try that again. That should be all connected now. Yeah. So before we put it together, we'll uh, we'll do a little volt check out the top to see what we got. Well, I'll get these the right way around. Eighteen point nine volts. So that's looking pretty good. And if you remember, that was ten and a half volts that one. So that looks pretty good. We'll have to get this together now. I've had to keep some of the insulation on here to stop these arcing against the other ones, so be careful. A lot of that stuff that's inside these, in my opinion, can be done without, but that particular bit, no. I just stick the screws in it now to see what way we are. Well the good news is that's charging, the bad news is it's going to take a little bit of time for it to get up to 20.1, 20.2 volts which is what it needs to. Uh, the cell replacement in my opinion has been successful but we'll wait to see what our full voltage is. Right, uh, this Bosch is fully charged now. It's showing all lights, I must fix the side on a bit better than that. See there's a bit of a hasty job there, I can fix that later. But the main thing is to check how the voltage went. Did we achieve maximum voltage with the cell replacement? And we did. 20.4. That is perfect. So that's battery number 6. But it's the fifth one that we've got going. I'll have to fix that side in a little bit. But anyway, it is perfectly balanced, perfectly good. That's how you do cell replacement. I have cell replacement to do on this one. I have a couple of cells to pop into this one. As you can see, they're fully charged now. Look, they're showing full in the charger. So that should be a handy enough job for the next video, hopefully. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.